Well, I thought I'd take you out to the van here in the cold weather and let you look at where I mounted the plastic for uh, Melvin in my van. Let's go for it, Monsieur. Man's going to go here today. Yeah, there we go. Here's my van. Not the newest, about 2005 Uplander LS Chevy. It gets me around, I ain't complaining. That's for sure. A lot of people got a lot less, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, we'll crawl in here once in this nutty truck of mine. Oh. <coughs> ah, let's see here. If I can get to that bracket, yeah. Um, yeah, I took and stuck that thing on there with a hundred and pads that were in the box, and then cleaned the windshield, of course, and then took and uh, stuck her on the windshield. Boy, she's on there. I'll tell you, you'd be trying to get that thing off. <clears throat> well, anyways, seeing as it's freezing cold out. I uh, mounted it over there. It's kind of nice because you could take and move it up and down, you know, without uh, get it right where you like it. <sighs> Somewhat. <laughs> Anyways, that's where I stuck it on here. Uh, hopefully Melvin will get in there. Give it a shot. It's working again now, so I ordered some more batteries at eBay. Two more batteries in the charger. And uh, one of them babies that you plug into the cigarette lighter thing. And, and then you got the USB cord on the, for the camera. In case I do need to charge it up. But I, I don't know, three batteries. I should have plenty of batteries. And these are, uh, I think they're 1100 or... 1150 uh, batteries, which the other ones are I found out are 1050 milliamp. So <clears throat> maybe it'll give it a little bit better shot. <sighs> yeah, it isn't the best van in the world, but it's got floorboards, anyways. And <laughs> Not too bad. <sighs> there you go back in the back, dear. You can. See all the way back there, you know. I got another pair of seats back there. I got the wife's wheelchair in here right now. But there's another spot back there, and I got two seats in the garage with it. You see them slots there. <clears throat> I can put seats in there, but I kind of like them out because I can haul stuff with it, you know. I'm really not bringing a family around anymore that they're all gone, and the grandkids are on their own, too, so it's not too too much strain, but I, I like it because I can haul my salt and stuff and for the water softener and stuff, you know. If I do have some stuff that I want to take up to my property up north, I can throw it in the back there and take it along with me to the trailer. Well, anyways... Man, I hope it's cool. It warms up a little bit again. Yeah, it's got a nice console thing on here. <clears throat> I wish I could... <clears throat> kind of like... Uh, falls down and I can't tell. There's a, <clears throat> a DVD player zone. <clears throat> um, I never tried them yet. Because I don't... Really watch too much TV or DVDs and no kids, you know. And they got a, some sort of thing you can plug, like if you got a game or something in there, I guess. I got my this one in the front here. Some of my other glasses are and stuff. Kind of nice because they got lots of compartments in it. More than I can find. Every day I find a new one, you know. Some lights up there, and uh, supposedly the OnStar stuff, but I haven't still need that. No, 
they want to you know, pay for it anyways, and they ain't going to be me that's going to pay for that stuff. But, and I got a, it's got a nice stereo in it and stuff, and heaters and stuff. Air conditioning don't work. The rear tube got hit or something, and all the gas went out, so the rear one and the front one both are, there's no gas. And I'm not in any mood to be crawling around repairing air conditioning lines anymore in my age. So, yeah, I don't need it, though. I usually roll the windows down, and I got power vents on it. Uh, the thing's got a, that door there, that's a power door. It's, you pull the handle in it, or push the button, and it opens up or closes and locks for a wheelchair, you know. So that's pretty nice. <sighs> I don't know. And there's some more stuff down here, you know. Catch your drink holders. place for my DVDs that I never will, would watch anyways. Boy, I hope it warms up. <clears throat> anyways, that's about it. I thought I'd just show you that where I got the camera in there and hopefully it'll work good, man, at least long enough to take some pictures because I did run it for a while, but now it seems the battery wants to drink down fast, so I figure it's either a bad cell or or there just wasn't enough. I, I figured 11, 1150 milliamp batteries, they're the same thing and when they're the next step up for uh, that uh, three thing they got out there just like these little action cams you know <clears throat> uses that bad kind of battery but they both use the same battery so yeah. we'll see once well, let's see. Oh. Man. I'm not real good at this stuff. I used to have a still camera, and boy, I could take some good shots with that 35 millimeter. But uh, ever since first we had the VHS recorders then we had eight millimeter and then we had cassette tape recorders and then we had disc recorders and then we had solid state recorders so i gave up once i once we went to disc because i said i'm not going to buy another one i got all the other ones still sitting in the in the shop well bill this uh <laughs> weather's cold out here and i wanted to tell you too that probably going to come your way. It's uh, 19, 18 degrees right now. So it's been going down. It was 19 at 3.30 this morning. Well, that's about all I got to say for right now. We'll see you guys later.